<coughs> hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to integrate google play services and how we can use the multiplayer functionality that is provided by google play services so uh, for this you have to uh, download and import the google play services plugin i will put the link of this plugin in the description of this video you can download it from there and uh, the next thing you need to do is you have to uh, create a game on your developers console you can see that i am using this project and it's published in a beta mode beta or alpha mode so uh, this is actually in alpha mode closed alpha testing mode so after uh, that you so if you don't know how to create or how to upload the game on google play services you can go to my channel and i have a whole playlist of google play services in which i have shown how to upload the game on play store how to configure game services how to log in the user so this is basically the most important part because mostly the problem occurs when you try to sign in the user and i have uh, you can see that uh, uh, in this video in the sixth video i have shown you how to fix the sign in failed problem in unity so i suggest you uh, watch all of these videos these are in hindi language but uh, but you will understand if you are having a problem so after uh, you have made your game on play store now we are in unity so now we are going to create a script i have created a script called gpg manager so i am going to open it so a first thing you need to do is you have to import some namespaces so in this project i have implemented a uh, leaderboard achievements uh, cloud save functionalities at each and everything so i have imported all of them now the for multiplayer you need to implement the real time multiplayer listener so this is important after mono behavior you you need to put a comma and implement this interface and this interface has so here is our real time multiplayer listener implementation so it have it has many uh, functions we will uh, talk about them but now after these functions in the start function you have to create client configurations you can simply just copy this code these three lines and put it in your main script in the start function after uh, activating the play games platform we are going to log our user in so uh, for using multiplayer listener it is important that you need to log in your user so here is our log, uh, login function in which simply we are checking if we are already authenticated then return otherwise we are logging the user in and simply we are displaying the message logged in or login failed now next we have a leaderboard function this function will show the uh, leaderboard now here we are going to report the score and update the score of leaderboard same here we are showing the achievements and here is how you create a quick game so you are going to uh, create a game the, if you are going to create a game you have to use these two lines and uh, this function create quick game it takes four arguments the amount of minimum opponents maximum opponents what is the game type and here is the reference to this current multiplayer listener so we are going to simply put this so game type will always be zero i don't know what it means but you need to put 
0 so we have only one opponent so in total we will have a two player playing the game and a two player can join one room and two other players can join a different room so in in a single room we will have only two opponents one the player itself and the player will have only one opponent so we are putting one in the minimum opponents and one in the maximum opponents now when you call this function this will create a quick game and this will jump to this function on room setup problem so this will start to set up the room and in this function we are simply showing the waiting room ui so i will show you a demonstration of this so i have uh, one uh, i have a android device with the same game gpg and i have one in this blue stack so we are going to launch this application from here and i have uh, another instance on my android device so after launching you can see that we are getting logged in message that we have put here so it means that we are successfully log in now i am going to uh, click on this quick game and also on from my android device so that both user have to click on this game to create a quick game so now this is the waiting room so this is actually the waiting ui so after we have clicked this function after triggering this function we are going to we are now in this function in which we are showing the uh, waiting room ui that is this ui now i have joined here you can see that now after we are both connected you can see that i get a message room connected so after this function on room setup progress when the progress will complete it means that now both the users are connected in a room so this function will automatically be called on room connected and you can see that we have a message here room connected now we are going to uh, play the game scene here uh, i will uh, talk about it in later videos simply in this video we are going to see how we can send and receive messages between two users now uh, the third function we have is on left room so definitely this will be called when a user will left the room or user want to left the room so we will have a button and we will call this function on it so also we have uh, on participant left on peers connected on peer disconnected and here is our on real time message receive function so basically this is the very important function so now we are going to receive the messages that is sent by other users now if you see here i have a function i have a button called send message now i am going to send the message from my android device to this instance and you will see that we will have a message received here so again if you want a step by step explanation you can watch my playlist on multiplayer listener but it's in hindi language so <clears throat> now you see that we have a message received i jumped 
so before receiving this messages we have to know how we can send a message so i will i have a function here called void send message and i will send the message in header and message format separated by colon you can see that if i want to jump i will simply put a jump in header and my real message or my values in the message so what this will do is i will pass a header and message so this will append a colon and save it in a string variable after that we are going to convert it into bytes array so you know that whenever we have to send the data on a network we use bytes so that's why we are converting our pair one data this string into bytes and we are sending message to all so this will send the message to all the connected users so we are going to our send this bytes array here and we are setting this true so it means that this message is reliable it has to it should be or it must be sent so this is how you send a message so on uh, on send message button we have this function so in this function i am simply calling this and i am passing jump in the header and a message i jumped into this message and we are sending so when one user sent the message on the other user end this function will be called so the other user will receive the message we will get a sender id and we will get the data in bytes so now we are going to actually convert this byte back to string and we are going to split it by colon so in the raw string we will have on raw index 0 we will have the header and uh, raw index 1 we will have the message so you can see that now here we are checking if the message is jump so we are simply displaying the message into this text so same if we have another message we can we will put another if statement here and we will check for all the messages so this is actually the basics of multiplayer uh, i will uh, make a next video and in this series i will create a full functional game how uh, using uh, google play services a full functional multiplayer game so if you like this video please hit the like button and i will see you in next video